After being in Japan for about three weeks, I've watched the sakura slowly bloom and change color. Our luck would have it that we would see them full swing in Kyoto, our pick as the most scenic city in Japan. Everyone, including myself, couldn't help but be enamored at this unbelievable pink scenery. If I could recommend only one place to see the cherry blossoms in Japan, without hesitation, it would be the Keagi Incline in Kyoto. Seemingly endless sakura trees line along the train tracks and led me into a world of lucid dreams. I slowly walked down the train tracks and every so often the spring breeze picked up the petals and showered me in its path. A trip to Kyoto would not be complete without visiting the oh so famous Fushimi and Nari Shrine. Around every corner we could see evidence of an unknown, perhaps even forgotten tradition. This shrine is home to over 10,000 bright orange torii gates that wind their way up to the sacred mount in Nari. Each of these eye-catching gates are donated by businesses in hopes of receiving good fortune. Their names are engraved and written in black ink and will become part of Mount Inari forever. As we climbed higher, we discovered this collection of figurines. Each fox represents a husband, wife, and a messenger. Couples attach their handwritten love prayers to the messenger, and if the god of matchmaking answers their prayers, the figurines are brought back to the shrine as an expression of gratitude. A short train ride from Kyoto is the dreamy town of Arashiyama. If you head west from the train station, you can find a path that cuts through a bamboo forest. We spent a few hours here, enjoying the peaceful, soft, whispering sway of bamboo trees. This place was pure serenity. A short walk away from the bamboo forest, we stumble upon a collection of gorgeous pillars. Here you can find 600 cylinders wrapped around in bright, colorful kimono patterns, making for a nice, peaceful stroll. After spending the morning exploring the town, we decided to visit the monkeys up a nearby mountain. We had to earn our time with the monkeys as there was a bit of a hike before we reached them. Once arriving, I realized it was the opposite of a zoo. People were the ones in cages, and the monkeys were the ones roaming freely. It made for a nice up-close experience with the monkeys, and a great way to wrap up our day. Kyoto has a way of making you feel like you're stepping back in time. Everything was so traditional and full of history. It was refreshing to get out of the city and into nature. A trip to Japan would not be complete without seeing the magical city of Kyoto.